My parents, Miss Jasmine here, and this week was celebrating underwater adventures. So I wanted to come to you all with the seashell sensory bottles. And you only need a few items for this activity. I have my sensory tube with the opening top. You're gonna need some water. Of course, some seashells and some blue food coloring. And I have some glitter, but that's optional. So as we get started, I'm gonna take my sensory tube and I'm gonna fill it up. Not all the way up, but let's just see. stop right about there just so the seashells and any other items I decide to add to the sensory bottles can move around more freely so then next I'm going to take my seashells and I have all types of shapes and sizes of the seashells different type of shapes and sizes you can add to the sensory bottle and you want to just drop it inside better just want to drop the seashells inside and you can add how many seashells you want there's no specific number I'm just picking all the pretty ones out. Okay. And then next I'm going to take my blue food coloring and just add maybe a drop I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with a drop. And I'm going to add my glitter, just a little bit of glitter, just to add some special effects to it. Okay. I'm going to add my top to my sensory bottle. parents you can glue the top to your sensory bottles just to make it more secure but I like to come back throughout the day or throughout the week just to add different items to my bottle so I'm going to keep it without the glue and next up the fun part we start to shake here you go your seashell sensory bottle and as we see, one dot of the blue food coloring worked out perfectly. And remember how I did not want to add glue to the top because today we're going to add a special item to this. I have these pretty green and blue little fishes. So we're gonna go ahead and just add some of these to the sensory bottle. I wanna close this right on back up. There you go. Make sure this top is secure tightly. And now we have our fishes along with our seashells. And this can also be a common sensory bottle. You know, sometimes children have rough days, so if they're having a moment, we could just redirect them, hand them this sensory bottle, and this will definitely help calm them down.
the uh, fishes go. All right, friends, I hope you all enjoyed this activity. See you later.